Hello, I'm the Resolute Cartographer, and this is the 90th video of my Mass Effect Legendary Edition series. In the last video, we took on Cerberus, we destroyed their headquarters, we killed Kai Lang. In the process, we also learned that the catalyst that the Crucible needs to activate is the Citadel. Now, the Reapers unfortunately know this as well, the Elusive Man told them. They have moved it into orbit above Earth, so we're going to Earth. Let's get to it. Actually, I think we have to... Do we have to talk to uh, Admiral Hackett again, or do we just go straight there? I think we just go straight there. We'll see soon enough. All right, here we go. Okay, local cluster. First time back here since the beginning of Mass Effect 3. Priority message from Admiral Hackett requesting to come aboard. Permission granted. Aye, Commander. <laughs> there he is. Head of the Alliance. Commander? Admiral? Are you ready to bring the might of the galaxy to bear on the Reapers? Yes, sir. Then let's make sure the fleets are ready. Here we go. All fleets reporting in, sir. <laughs> Never before have so many come together from all quarters of the galaxy. But never before have we faced an enemy such as this. The Reapers will show us no mercy. We must give them no quarter. They will terrorize our populations. We must stand fast in the face of that terror. They will advance until our last city falls. But we will not fall. We will prevail. Each of us will be defined by our actions in the coming battle. Stand fast. Stand strong. Stand together. Pack it out. Shepard, the sword fleets are ready to strike at the Reapers surrounding Earth. While they keep the enemy engaged, you and Hammer Ground Forces can take London. London? Why aren't we hitting the Citadel directly? Anderson can brief you on that. Admiral, how are you holding up? We are ready to end this. But as you can see, the station's closed itself since it appeared over London. Damn it. Gotta get the arms open to dock the Crucible. Exactly. But London is surrounded by Hades cannons. Hammer transports can't land while they're active. You lead a squadron of smaller shuttles. Infiltrate with a ground team to take out the cannons using heavy weapons. Hammer can land, and we'll set up a forward operation space. I still don't see how we're getting to the Citadel from London. The Reapers use this beam to transport humans, alive and dead, to the Citadel. From the FOB, Hammer will launch an all-out assault on the Citadel beam. Everyone who makes it that far will take the beam to the Citadel, then locate and activate the Citadel arm controls. Once we see those arms, Shield Fleet will escort the Crucible to the Citadel. But timing will be critical. We don't have enough firepower to keep the Crucible safe for long. Nothing's ever easy. No reason it should start now. It's desperate. I don't even want to guess at our odds. But... But this is the only plan we have. If we wait, the Reapers bleed us slowly. Conventionally, we can't defeat the Reapers without the Crucible. Get the Citadel arms open. Commander, whatever the cost, we'll do the rest. Yes, sir. Good luck. To all of us. Approaching Sol Relay, Commander. We're through the relay in 30 seconds. <laughs> Look at that fleet. Destiny is 
Jason. The Asari ships, the Turian ships, the human ships. Look at all those fighters. Alliance fleet reporting. Turian fleet reporting. Asari fleet's reporting. There's the Quarians. Quarian fleets accounted for and ready. Death fleet reporting. All fleets reporting in, Commander. Ready to engage on your command. Oh, crap. The scale of this battle. Oh my god. Look at that! Look at all those Reapers! Holy crap! This is it, everyone. Be ready on my signal. Fire! <laughs> oh man, don't want to be on the ground on Earth behind this if you miss. It's like a nuke going off. The amount of kinetic energy in those weapons. Oh. On my command, engage the Reaper force. Have they not yet? Much of that. All fighters on me. They got one. Those little ones, like the one on the right, so it's one of the size that we defeated on the right Breaking off. Preparing for descent. Honestly, I kind of don't get why they didn't just send in uh, the Normandy to begin with, just by itself. If only the stealth systems were engaged, they should have been able to get down close to the planet, I would think, at least. Of course, this provides much more of uh, a chance you're going to get in. There's always the chance that if it's just the Normandy, Shepherd. it gets discovered and destroyed. Good luck. You too, Joker. Position and waiting for you guys to clear a path. Normandy's rejoining sword. Stay safe. I'll be back before you know it. I'll hold you to that. Normandy out. We're closing in on the LZ, Commander. How's it look? Like hell. Take a look for yourself. Hmm. Earth after months of fighting. God, it doesn't look like home anymore. Shit, we got a lock. Hold on. Damn it. Status. That was the squad responsible for taking out that defense turret. Who's on it now? Nobody in the vicinity. All either deployed or shot down. Drop us off. 
Sir? We have to take that thing out before Hammer can land. Understood. Change of plans, people. We're gonna take out that Hades cannon. With what? That down shuttle would have been carrying heavy weapons. Perfect. You heard the man. Once we're clear, make your way to the crash shuttle. We'll search the wreckage for heavy weapons. This is gonna be hell! <laughs> Now, go, go! Damn, I can't stay here, sir. Get clear. Come get us once we've taken that turret out. Roger that. Cortez out. That All right, ben? everyone. Let's move. <laughs> I mean, I know we're in London. It's just... We just happen to be that close to Parliament. Get her back up. Looks like it's in real meat. No more of that. I'm gonna put the armor on him. Sounds like there's another one up there somewhere. A lot of them. Jeez. No point in even trying to shoot them. Oh, no point in trying to aim. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Hammer's getting torn apart. We need those guns offline now. Watch it, you got brutes. Two guns well, down. Of course we do. There we go. Okay. Let's take care of the rest of these guys. Seriously, no point in even trying to aim. There we go. Was that him dead? No. Just badly damaged. So I guess we're dancing this way. There we go. Another Marauder. The Marauders would not have been here originally. I mean, when we first showed up, or whoa, geez. When we left Earth, I mean, it was just um, cannibals and husks. Jeez. Need to get a shot in at this thing. Okay, there we go. Oh, another Marauder. <laughs> there we go. Is that it? We're good? Where are we going now? Okay. Gotta get to the shuttle wreckage. Can we do anything over here? Kinda looks like there's something on that wall, maybe. No, I guess it must, must just be a light. Alright, well, here's some ammo. Anything over here? More ammo. Okay. Grenades, too, I think. Let's get upstairs, though. Um, uh. Okay. Yeah, uh, but... Okay, here we go. Damn it, you got airborne hostiles inbound. Gonna try to keep them off you. Careful, Cortez. You sure? But it won't be We're gonna quick. Get safe. Anything for you. The scream of Steve! And then immediately afterwards. You okay? Love that. One of my favorite, favorite lines in the entire 
series. <laughs> Just because of the reading of it. Ravager. I think the M920 Kane is a nuclear weapon. I think the last time we saw one of those was back in Mass Effect 2. Oh, good. These guys. Let's switch over to the super weapon. There we go. Ah, got him. Okay, the cane. There it is. That's it. Fire that thing right down its gullet. Do I have to wait for it to open its mouth, or just fire it now? I don't think it's gonna open regardless. Did I Oh, I thought I had charged it up enough. Oh, ho, ho, damn! That was impressive. I think there's another one in there. No, I'm at kit. Anybody, come in. We need extraction. Oh! We got cut. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! Come on, Super Gun. Any aligned personnel in the vicinity? Whoa! Buddy! Personal space! Sniper. You know, I don't use grenades very often. Let's use a grenade. Oh, it's a sticky. I forgot that I had sticky grenades. Oh, still more? Okay. out of here, Corporal. You okay? I'm alive. That you are, Commander. Hey. Anderson. I knew you wouldn't let me down, Jim. It's good to see you. And you're a sight for sore eyes. How we looking? Now that the heavy air defenses are dealt with, Hammer can land. And not a moment too soon. What's left of the Resistance is holding a forward operating base, but the Reapers are countering already. Once we regroup, it's going to be up to Hammer to take up the fight. It must have been brutal here, cut off from the rest of the Alliance. It's been touch and go from day one. But once we figured out the Reapers were focusing on the major centers, it became easier to avoid direct contact. Until London. Yeah. We held back as long as we could, sending in recon teams. Lost a lot of good men planning this attack. But with soldiers like Major Coates, and knowing you'd bring us help, we held on. Without you and your resistance, we'd be dead in the water. Yeah, the Admiral's being modest. He's the reason any of us are still alive. Let's not start handing out medals just yet. <laughs> this fight's just getting started. And Hammer better be ready for it. They didn't start out together, but they're ready to stand side by side and win this war. Good. That's what it's gonna take. 
We'll get it done, Anderson. I was born in London. Really? What? How are you just learning this? The entire galaxy united. Too bad it took the Reapers to bring us together. Shepard united them. That's exactly what I meant. I know you didn't like leaving Shepard. But nobody could have accomplished what you've done. It's good to be back home. There's the FOB. Looks good. Give Hammer the all clear. Look at all those shuttles. Jeez. along to do some biotics or heck you do some biotics themselves create some barriers so they'd have a little bit of an easier time I mean yeah they're the weapons but there's like very little mixed arms here it's just mostly just riflemen even those vehicles seem to just be transports where are the grizzlies We've set up a command center in the building over there. Looks like we've still got troops coming in. Yes, sir, but not as many as we'd hoped. Mm. Come see me when you're ready, Shepard. Will do. He's right. I expected to see more of Hammer here by now. A lot of them won't be making it. You two go on ahead. I'll catch up. The fighting here has been some of the worst on the planet. It looks bad, but there's still hope. And you're here. It'll do the troops good to see you. Bolster their resolve. I'm just a soldier like them. You might see yourself like that, but they don't. Like it or not, Commander, you're a hero to these men and women. Don't discount the effect that can have on them. I better go meet up with my battalion. I'll see you at the command center. Well, I was debating whether or not to end the video here, but you know what? We're going to go all the way through. We're going to finish the fight. Hey, Commander. What? No loco? <laughs> yeah, sorry. You okay? I don't know what I thought I'd feel coming back to Earth. I was ready to fight, ready to die if I had to. But seeing everything like this... I know it's hard to see, but this is only temporary. But first we need to win this thing. Stay focused. Don't let them take your will to fight. I know, I know. You're right. So, I guess this is it, no? One more push. One last fight. Not necessarily our last. It's been an honor serving with you, Shepard. You're a good man, and a terrific soldier. Thanks. Whatever happens out there today, I know you'll make me proud. That means a lot to me, sir. Hey, good luck out there, loco. All right. I mean, the kind of crazy thing to consider is that there's a huge amount of rebuilding to do, but there's not even... I mean, you gotta consider as well, we read that thing a while back saying the galactic economy is practically destroyed. They can't really even afford to wage the war for much longer, so it's like... How much... Uh, how much in the way of resources are there really available to start rebuilding once this is over, you know? Shepard? How are you holding up? Restless. Everything depends on this. Think we have a chance? There's always hope. That's how we got this far. And you made it happen, Shepard. You're the reason we're here. 
I've had people like you picking me up and dusting me off when I stumbled. I've lost count of all the times you've saved me. Almost as many times as you saved me, hero man. It always comes down to this. Feels like a thousand years since we met on Eden Prime. So much has happened. It's hard to figure out how we got here. You're a survivor, Ash. Always were. I hope you're right. I'm right. You're a fine soldier, a Spectre. We're lucky to have you. Thanks, Commander. Okay. One more hill to take, Lieutenant Commander. You ready? Aye, aye, Captain. I'm ready. All right, now from that, I think I can assume that the rest of our crew is here, because we did not bring Ashley in with us. Let's see. Okay, we can go up there, but let's check out this area first. The music in here is so freaking dire. I mean, not for obvious reasons, but... Yes, Commander. Is there someone you'd like to reach? Whoa. Okay. This is going to take a while. Kasumi Goto. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Hey, Shep. You ready down there? Depends on whether you got the crucible good to go. Always ready. No idea what it'll do exactly, but it's going to be big. <laughs> good luck, Shepard. If you live through it, drinks are on me. Is there someone else I can connect you to? I don't think Shepard's gonna ever have to buy a drink for the rest of his life. Jack. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard? Shepard, is that you? Jack, how are you guys? Good so far. We're a ways south of your position. Hmm. We saved some resistance fighters with barrier support. Bringing a bit more firepower your way. I'll see you on the other side. I won't let you down, Shepard. Go kick some ass. You too. Damn. Is there someone else I can connect you to? The voice actress did a great job there. You could hear, like, a sense of fear in her voice. Zaid Masani. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Almost thought you weren't gonna make it, Shepard. Glad I was wrong. You doing okay, Zaid? Yeah, yeah. Hope you've got one hell of a speech to get everyone moving. <laughs> Looks like we might need it. Never seen anything like this. We don't stop it now. It gets worse. No kidding. Just <laughs> doesn't feel like a real ground war when your opponents are taller than goddamn skyscrapers. <laughs> Still, no use talking about it. Ready to go when you are. Let's gut the bastards. <laughs> Is there someone else I can connect you to? Samara. Certainly. I'll connect you now. I wondered if I'd see you again, Samara. It's past time I joined your battle. You helped me a great deal in the monastery, Shepard. Thank you for returning the favor. Only your actions will be remembered. May you choose them well. Farewell. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Steve Cortez. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander, you made it. Glad I can say the same about you, Cortez. I've come too far to lose my pilot now. I apologize for that. Things got too hot. Thought maybe I could do another run and head back around. Well, not one of my finer moments. If I'd been flying my old trident, things might have been different. What matters is we took out that AA gun. Absolutely. And the Reapers are next. That's the idea. It'll happen. I'm just glad I can play a part. And Commander, thanks for making me believe again. If you hadn't... It helps to have reason to live again. Stay sharp, Cortez. Yes, sir. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Grunt. Certainly. I'll connect you now. <laughs> About time you got here, Shepard. Didn't want to win this thing all by myself. <laughs> Good to see you back in action, Grunt. Wouldn't miss it. Shepard. Yeah? Thanks for getting me out of that tank. <laughs> sure, Grunt. It's been an honor. Same here, Shepard. Okay. Grunt out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Miranda Lawson. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander. 
Hope you don't mind me crashing this little party of yours. Not at all. Feeling better? Much. I got a few sideways looks from Alliance Brass when I offered to help. They can't be choosy at this point. <laughs> I'm glad you made it. Shepard, I, I wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye? If we both come back from this at all, everything will be different. Sure, everything will change. But on our terms, we've been running until now, Miranda. It has to stop. I understand. This isn't goodbye. You have to believe we're not done yet. Listening to you, I can believe it. <sighs> Good. And Miranda? Yes? Be careful. I promise. And you too, Shepard. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Jacob Taylor. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard, that you? Jacob, holding up? <laughs> Kicking ass, more like. My kill count's through the roof. <laughs> we'll meet and compare notches when this is over. <laughs> you got it. There's this, uh, great little bar in Rio we have to check out. I'm holding you to that. Give him hell, Jacob. Yes, sir. Shepard out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? I'm done. Yes, sir. <sighs> really adds a lot of finality to it, you know? Alright, we already spoke to James, who's over there. Spoke to Ashley, who's over here. Let's head up. Okay, over here. I was a little confused there for a minute. I want you to coordinate with the Alliance. Make sure we iron out these logistical problems. Yes, sir. We probably don't want to share a supply. That's just Rex playing hard to get. Tell him <laughs> I've got a crate of Denorian beer I'd be happy to barter with. <laughs> and that ought to get his attention. Shepard. So I guess this is... Just like old times? the last chance we get to say that. Think we're gonna lose? No, I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Then we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. <laughs> I'll meet you there. I think my days of saving the galaxy are over when this is done. Be sure to leave room for all the autographs. <laughs> Just need to beat the Reapers to get there. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, <laughs> but if this thing goes sideways and we both end up there, meet me at the bar. I'm buying. We're a team, Garrus. There's no Shepard without Vicarian, so you better remember to duck. Sorry, Torians don't know how. But I'll improvise. <laughs> and Shepard, forgive the insubordination, but this old friend has an order for you. Go out there and give them hell. You were born to do this. Goodbye, Garrus. And if I'm up there in that bar and you're not, I'll be looking down. I'll always have your back. Hmm.
Guess the fighters took them out. Liara? How are the casualties? They haven't brought in many more wounded. That's something. How are you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. All those little blue children will be disappointed I didn't have a speech. <laughs> we'll make up a good story for them. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment, if you want it. Of course I do. Close your eyes. to be done <sighs> all right what's his condition okay now try Jeez. to stay calm sammy where are you can't find you message me back please people go into that place they don't come out the same they're not human anymore I can hear the voices crawling inside the back of my skull whispering they won't stop stop why won't they Stop. Why won't it stop until I go to where the others went, get turned into one of those things? Oh god, please make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Won't listen to the voices, won't go in there. Can't make it stop, know what to do. Jeez. Javik. <laughs> Was it this bad in your time? Worse. I have been listening to the Krogan speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. You came a long way, Javik. Further than anyone else here. And I look forward to fulfilling my mission. But you are now the avatar of this cycle. The exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. Well, no pressure to put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. I know. I've had to make a lot of those. There may be more. There but are. I know you will see this through for all of us, no matter the cost. If we actually pull this off, what'll you do afterwards? Seeing the past again in the Echo Shard, the faces of my men, I will go to the Cronian Nebula. And I will find their graves. I will put their ghosts to rest. And then I will join them. You mean? It is as it should be, Commander. The last Prothean voice has spoken. There is no more left to say. Here. This shard is now yours. Add to it. The progeny of this cycle will study it. They will know this was the day when the Reapers were no more. And that you were the conqueror. You know, I have the feeling they could 
use like uh, genetic engineering or something to basically clone him somehow. Not even really clone him, but even do. I don't know. I feel like there's not. That he doesn't have to be the last of the Protheans, but. Shepard, you did it. No matter what else happens today, you did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. Bowen, <laughs> Kara sends her regards. She's already pregnant. There are benefits to being a clan leader. But she keeps insisting we name the first one Morden. Anyway, let's get to it. <laughs> Suck it up, princesses! <laughs> what about this zone? We could circle around and flood it with reinforcements. I spent three days in that sector, trapped inside Tally? the Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on her pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't back you now? <laughs> and you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? You remember how you felt when you landed on Rannoch? Now imagine it's not a story passed down by your people. Imagine you were there just a few months ago. And now you're seeing it like this. We need to put it right. We will. Whatever happens, I'm proud to have served with you, Captain. It's been an honor, Tally Zoravas Normandy. The Admirals once hung that ship name on me like a badge of shame. And then the Normandy helped us reclaim our homeworld. <laughs> it's time I returned the favor. Shepard, I have a question. Is it a big or small one? <laughs> it is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the Conduit at all? The Reapers have the Citadel. They think they've won, and that's the best time to hit them. If they have spies or other intelligence, we could lose the element of surprise. In such a case, we will likely lose. Are you afraid? Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do, or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. <laughs> nor will they. Couldn't have put it better myself. Time to move up. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. <sighs> oh, I hate the end of this game. Commander? Admiral? Just going over the sit rim. How's it look? Barely 50% of Hammer has reported in. Can we count on more making it? There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. Every minute wasted here, the Reapers gather strength. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here, but now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Jeez. Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. 
There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here, if we get close enough. We've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us. But there can be no retreat, no stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Yeah! Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push to the beam. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well. <laughs> this war has brought us pain and suffering and loss. But it's also brought us together as soldiers, allies, friends. This bond that ties us together is something the Reapers will never understand. It's more powerful than any weapon, stronger than any ship. It can't be taken or destroyed. The next few hours will decide the fate of everyone in the galaxy. Every mother, every son, every unborn child. They're trusting you, depending on you to win them their future. A future free from the threat of the Reapers. But take heart. Look around you. You're not in this fight alone. We face our enemy together. And together, we will defeat them. Humans, Turians, Krogan. It's too bad we couldn't get the Yogg on board. <laughs> Should be Geth out here, too. Oh! Kind of horrible to think that these used to be the people of London. Brought uh, Garrison Ashley along. First two crewmates, also gonna be the last two crewmates. Oh, there goes a Mako. I think I took down three of them. There goes a the fourth. Anybody know how the hell was supposed to take down a destroyer with tanks? Vanix missiles can do a fuck ton of damage. If you say so, need cover. I mean, there is like no retreat. Literally, is not an option. You, 
you retreat, you die. So it's either you fight and potentially die, or you flee and you definitely die. Maybe not today, but very soon. Oh, Harvester. Is that thing even vulnerable? I think it is. There it goes. Banshee. Yes, you keep pouring fire on the Banshee, please. I want the Marauder down here. Let's go, uh, super gun. She's still around? I think she might be. Oh yeah, she's still here. Not for much longer though. Let's get him back up. Come on, Garrus. Try to clear the building. <laughs> he got the shield on just as I killed him. Okay. Under the shield. Invisibility. God, I love this gun. Oh. <laughs> More ammo. Let's keep moving. This gun is so stupid. I love it. All right. How'd that brute fit down that? Goes that okay? Thanks. These guns. Ah. Okay, they're moving, but I was hoping to get to use that gun. All right. Uh, oh, we're in someone's bedroom. Oh, med kit. Oh. <laughs> That's horrible aim, but I still got him. There we go. This is Echo Company. There's not enough room to maneuver the tanks in here. Backtrack if you have to. Find another road next time. Acknowledged. Okay. Still one marauder. Okay, two marauders. And let's take him out. Oh, sounds like this is a brute. Ooh, I'm out of, almost out of ammo here. Uh, there's some. Let's see, there's some more. Excellent. Oh no, the brute's down. Seriously, just equip the entire army with this, make big versions of it for the ships, and get no problem.
Okay. Oh, it's a shop. It's almost like a bookstore, but... And there's so few of those left even in our time. Of course, it could be like some status symbol or something. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's either be destroyed and fire, or be destroyed and don't fire, fire. Still a marauder in here. Not anymore, though. None of you had ammo? Bastards. Oh. Wait, oh. I didn't realize there's still somebody alive in here. Okay, uh, go back to Sniper until I find some more ammo. Then I can go back to Super Gun. Oh. Okay. Let's pass right through its head. Oh, they're dead. Okay. To take that thing down. We wait for it to get close. Then we hit it with everything we've got. There's some ammo. Back to super gun. Our engineers are on it. That kid's got something to do with the beam. Can we go under this or no? Probably not. <laughs> One clip! One clip! Oh, super gun. You never fail me. Oh, the thing hit me as he died. Security memo, they're targeting shelters, evacuation shuttles, emergency services, power centers, people. It's not about destroying property so much as destroying the population. We've got to modify standard evac procedures. We can't rely on conventional procedures. We'll just get more people killed. Stay in small groups, get survivors out of the city, spread people out as much as possible, pass the word, people. Bastards. This is just a... I mean, it's genocide. That comes right down to that. I mean, it's admirable, but it's all small arms fire against something like that. I don't think it's doing anything. No. I feel like this is what happens when you throw rice at a person. We need reinforcements on them! Jeez. Guys, stop! It's not worth it! You're not doing anything! Okay. Securing the missile battery. There's the artillery! But the company's been wiped out. Major, what's the situation? The beam's interfering with missile guidance. We can hit the destroyer, but we'll never make the precision strike we need to take it out. Dex, Edie, can you read me? Yes, Commander. Any suggestions? I may be able to use the Normandy systems to enhance the missile's targeting capabilities. Excellent. I'll need you to open a link to the Normandy from the missile systems. On it. Okay, I guess we have to do it from that one. 
Is that Rostenkov on that? Yep. <laughs> I think they're weapons manufacturer. That's it. I'll let you know when I've adapted the targeting systems. Sounds like good news, Commander. We'll see. Hammer. This is Admiral Anderson. The Reaper ground forces are making a push. Hold your ground. Protect those tanks until we can get a shot. You heard it, people. Yeah, get ready. there they are. There they are. <laughs> Shot him in the ankle. Gotta conserve ammo. Just because I can click fast doesn't mean I should. Damn, he's moving fast. <laughs> oh, behind us, okay. <laughs> Who else is out here? We tried to hold them off, but they destroyed our trucks. Overwhelmed our position. Your left flank is gone. They're headed your way. Sorry, okay. sir. Oh, there they are. Hang in there, soldier. Heads up! We've got more incoming! Damn! We better cover our left flank! Let's get more ammo while we can. <laughs> Damn! Hit that hole instead of one of them. Ah! There's more ammo over there. I'm not going back to sniper rifle. Not when I have super gun. And a viable supply of ammo. Okay, that is enough out of you. There she goes. Okay, I can take a second to heal here. Or not. Just keep killing. Got him. Still that one cannibal, though. Let me guess. Oh, their right flank is failing. Commander, I have reprogrammed targeting. Missiles are ready for launch. Got it. You heard her. Back to the truck, people. Missile guidance enhanced. Firing. Countering interference. Did it hit? No. What happened? Huh. The Reaper is still too close to the beam. Oh. We're down to two missiles. And we haven't even scratched it. You will need to allow the Reaper to move out of the beam's influence. Good lord. And closer to us. Hold on, everyone. We can do this. Okay, I know Shepard's good, come. and Garrus is good, and Ashley's good. How is it that all the other teams are so freaking incompetent? I mean, we're even taking other people's enemies here, so it's not like we're getting an easy enemy here. Oh, come on. You know you want to go down right now. 
<laughs> okay, I need more ammo, but I am having fun. <laughs> Watch it, Harvester! Whoa, oh. Uh, I got stepped on it, see? <laughs> Hydra missile launcher. No, I'm good. Although those things are pretty cool. You know what? Oh, that thing is... Okay, there's another one. Uh, I thought I fired that off at the harvester. Apparently not. It's nearly dead. There it goes. It only took a few shots from Super Gun. Good thing this thing isn't targeting the missiles. Whoa. Buddy. Okay, keep moving. Jeez. Okay. Let's uh, bring Garrus back because I need some breathing room here. Quite a curveball she threw there. Commander, the destroyer is in range. Missiles are ready for launch. Okay. Roger that, Edie. Float. Go. Targeting is online. Reaper is within range. Let's do it. Come on. <laughs> Going down. Hit him with everything you've got. Whoa. Oh. I think there were some cane shots there. <sighs> nice work. Jeopard. We're on our way to your location. There Roger that. is. Jeopard. Over here! Thank God you made it. It didn't look good. It gets worse. Of course it does. <laughs> Hackett just reported in. Several sovereign class reapers, including Harbinger, have broken off from the battle Ooh. with Sword. They're headed here. Harbinger? It's an opportunity for Hackett to get the Crucible in place. But we have to get a team on board the Citadel to open those arms now. We still don't even know what we'll find when we get to the Citadel. Then that's our job. Find out what we're up against. All right. Saddle up, everybody. Get me Admiral Hackett. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
There it is, the Crucible. The second largest object in space after the Citadel, I believe. It's now in well, the built, in. constructed object in space. Acknowledge. I'll send the word. All ships, this is Admiral Hackett. The Crucible is on the move. I repeat, the Crucible is on the move. Protect it at all costs. Everyone, this is it. Oh, man. Any available squadrons, delay those Reapers leaving the battle. We've got to give Hammer more time. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to delay them. They're clearly way away from the battle already. Here on in, it's a straight shot to the beat. A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. We just need to get a handful of troops through. Only a handful, huh? We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. Can't think of anyone else I'd rather do this with. Nobody does it alone. We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it. Who? Oh. Shit. Here comes the fun. Harbinger has arrived. Crazy. It's kind of amazing that we couldn't just bring the Normandy right here, right? <laughs> you got to get out of here. With all due respect, Commander. Don't argue with me, Ash. Damn it, I can do this. I need to know somebody's getting out of this alive. I... Take There's care. no time. Did Harbinger just take a break from shooting? Force was 
decimated. It's too much. We need to regroup. Fall back to the buildings. Why are you falling back? Harbinger just left. Where'd I get this pistol from? Gotta get to the beam. Come as the crucible. Good thing there's air in here, huh? Shepard. Shepard. Uh. Anderson. You up here too? Here to be processed. God damn abomination. I'm gonna keep moving. The sooner we blow these bastards back to hell, the better. The troops don't go on forever. But where the hell are we? Yeah. It doesn't look like any part of the Citadel I've been to. Part of the Citadel for the Keepers, I think. Oh, Anderson? There's a chasm here, and more hallways like the one I was in. I 
think I'm near an exit. Jeez. I see something up ahead. Might be a way to cross over. Don't get too far ahead of me. I just found that chasm we were talking about. Hold on. I see something. A control panel, maybe. I'm just gonna go on. Hmm. Anderson. Damn it. Oh, this is a slow walk. Anderson. the means to survival. Good lord. Control of the Reapers and of you, if necessary. Mm. They're controlling you. I don't think so, Admiral. <laughs> controlling me is a lot different than controlling a Reaper. Have a little faith. When humanity discovered the mass relays, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined, there were some who thought the relays should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again, a thousandfold. But... <sighs> Only if we can harness their ability to control. Bullshit. We destroy them, or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. You're playing with things you don't understand. With power you shouldn't be able to use. I... don't believe that. If we can control it, why shouldn't it be ours? Because... we're not ready. No. This is the way humanity must evolve. Hmm. There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers. And I know with certainty, the Crucible will allow me to control them. <laughs> and then what? Look at the power they wield. Look at what they can do. <sighs> I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them, made it my own. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? If we destroy the Reapers, this ends today. But if you can't control them, but I can! Are you willing to bet humanity's existence on it? I... know it will work. You can't, can you? They won't let you do it. 
No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself! You're indoctrinated! No! No! The two of you so self-righteous! Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices! You've sacrificed too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... It's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you now. You... You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. Because of you, humanity is already undone. That's not true! <clears throat> they have the Citadel. They've got us fighting each other, instead of fighting them. I just need to... You've done exactly what the Reapers wanted. You're still doing it because they control you. I... They're too strong. <sighs> You're stronger. Don't let them win. Break their hold. Don't let them control you. I tried, Shepard. I am not sad to see him go. Good lord, look at that. What a view. <laughs> Whoa. That was just all a fairing? <laughs> I forgot about that. Commander? We did it. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. Hmm. <laughs> Best seats in the house. Feels like years since I just sat down. I think you earned a rest. Anderson? Mm. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, son. You did good. I'm proud of you. Mm. Thank you, sir. Anderson? <sighs> Shepard? Commander? I... 
What do you need me to do? Nothing's happening. The crystal's not firing. It's gotta be something on your end. Commander Shepard! I don't see... I'm not sure how to... Commander! <sighs> Here comes the scene that made a lot of people angry. Myself included. like that before. Oh. Star child. Wake up. Citadel was the catalyst. No, the Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps. I control the Reapers. They are my solution. Solution? To what? Chaos. Created will always rebel against their creators. But we, we found, found a way to stop that from happening. A way to restore order. By wiping out organic life? No. We harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We help them ascend, so they can make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. You said you're the catalyst, but... What are you? A construct. An intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. I was created to bring balance. To be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI? In as much as you are just an animal, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But you were created. Correct. By who? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict, so a new solution was required. The Reapers? Precisely. I met your creators. They told me what you did to them. We did as we were expecting. They said you betrayed them. That you turned them into Harbinger. When they asked that I solve the problem of conflict, they failed to understand they were part of the problem themselves. The flaws of their organic reasoning could not perceive this. They lacked the foresight to understand their destruction was part of the very solution they required. Well, they've joined this war. And I welcome their involvement. I am only facilitating their request. 
Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. Leviathan. Yes. They created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life. To establish a connection. They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve, but it was the only solution. You said that before. But how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence, but those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their creators. The result is conflict, destruction, chaos. It is inevitable. Reapers harvest all life, organic and synthetic, preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. We're at war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it to be reborn in the form of a new Reaper. Like a cleansing fire, we restore balance. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. What do you know about the Crucible? The device you refer to as the Crucible is little more than a power source. However, in combination with the Citadel and the Relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. We first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. <laughs> Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. But you're taking away our future. Without a future, we have no hope. Without hope, we might as well be machines. Programmed to do what we're told. You have hope. More than you think. The fact that you were standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. What do you mean? The Crucible changed me, created new possibilities, but I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. But be warned, others will be destroyed as well. Yep. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. Geth and Edie as well. What exactly will happen? Your Crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected. But those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. So... The elusive man was right after all.
Yes, but he could never have taken control. Because we already controlled him. <laughs> but I can. You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. But the Reapers will obey me? Yes. We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. There is another solution. Synthesis. And that is? Add your energy to the crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework. A new DNA. Baloney. Explain how my energy can be added to the crucible. Your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what, exactly? The energy of the crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Organics seek perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have tried a similar solution in the past. But it has always failed. Why? Because the organics were not ready. It is not something that can be forced. You are ready, and you may choose it. I... don't know. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? And there will be peace? The cycle will end. The Reapers will cease their harvest, and the civilizations preserved in their forms will be connected to all of us. Synthesis is the final evolution of all life. The paths are open, but you have to choose. Dumb. We're not going space magic, we're destroying the Reapers. As much as I don't want to kill Edie or the Geth, I'm not going space magic and I'm also not controlling them. Space magic is clearly the way they want you to go with the game, but I'm not doing that. It's ridiculous. It makes no sense. Destroying everything basically with like an electronic current going through it? Yeah, I get that. Controlling these gigantic robots, I get that. Somehow fusing organic and synthetic life into new organisms. Ridiculous. Let's finish this slow walk uh, and end this game this way. I seriously, I hate this. I hate the fact that we're killing off the Geth and we're killing off Edie.
The Reapers already know they're lost. They know there's nowhere they can go. Nowhere they can flee. I do love this scene, I will say that. go. With its horrendously high cost, the war is over. As this wave of energy reaches every location around the entire Milky Way galaxy, every synthetic is destroyed. Here comes the true pulse of energy that runs all the way out to the Charon mass relay. From which it gets fired to the entire rest of the Milky Way galaxy via the entire mass relay network. Temporarily disabling all of the mass relays in the entire galaxy. they are on Thessia, saved by our actions on Earth. The Krogan on Tuchanka. In the space magic version, Edie gets off too, and both of them have gr glowing green eyes. Sincerely, I hate the fact that Edie's dead, but I can always hope that we can rebuild her. Or at least just repair her, you know? So far, not looking like a bad planet to be marooned on, at least temporarily. Mm -hmm. 
they added this after people hated that ending <laughs> with a star child and all that the war is over the reapers have been defeated against all odds and in the face of the greatest threat this galaxy has ever known we survived we suffered many losses the relays are severely damaged but we won this victory belongs to each of us every man woman and child every civilization on every world. Hmm. I'm hoping this means that all these folks survived it. we take our first steps toward restoring what we lost, we must remember what it took to win. Look at that. Krogan babies. This wasn't a victory by a single fleet, a single army, or even a single species. The reconstruction on Tachanka. If this war has taught us anything, this Rannoch? It is that we are at our strongest when we work together. And if we can put down our grievances long oh. enough to stop something as powerful as the Reapers, imagine what we can achieve now that they are defeated. It will take time, but we can rebuild everything that was destroyed. Our homes, our worlds, our fleets and defenses, all of this and more. Look at that. Together, we can build a future greater than any one of us could imagine. A future paid for by the sacrifices of those who fought and died alongside us. A future that many will never see. Yeah, you can see Edie's on that list. And while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. those who died to give us that future. Still alive. Okay. Well, that was the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Now, I will say that I thought the, the ending was severely improved by the fact that they added the things they did. 
First of all, when you're running towards the beam on the planet, it very much looked like it was the case that whoever you brought along with you was going to die. They fixed that by adding that scene with a ship coming back in to grab them. Of course, at the same time, it's like, it's dropping in right in the middle of attacking Harbinger. Uh, how exactly is Harbinger not shooting them down? But anyway, uh, beyond that, they added all that extra stuff at the ending. Uh, for some reason, we didn't get to see it, but they did also add the option for... I think they added the option? I can't remember. It definitely wasn't... We didn't get to do, ask it. Um, so maybe I just missed it, but basically say, What about the Quarians and the Geth? You say that the synthetics always destroy the organics, but we just made peace between synthetics and organics for the first time in 300 years. And it doesn't look like there's going to be any break in that, so what exactly are you talking about? They can't be buds. Now, again, I hate the abs I absolutely hate the fact that Edie and the Geth are gone. I can always hope that the technology was simply damaged and that we can go back in and bring the stuff back, but we'll have to see what they've got in uh, Mass Effect 4, which I am very much looking forward to. Now, we're basically, at this point... Well, obviously, we're done with Mass Effect Legendary Edition, but we do still have Mass Effect Andromeda. And I know that that was not a lot of people's favorite game, but I actually did enjoy it in spite of the ridiculous level of bugs that it had. And that's going to be the next thing that we play. Oh, yeah, people really didn't like this either. Did that all really happen? Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. It's Buzz Aldrin. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. I say people didn't like it, more so people made jokes about it, like, was this grandpa telling his kid about all the crazy alien sex that was taking place? <laughs> Congratulations on bringing it into the Reaper threat. Commander Shepard has become a legend, and from here you can continue to build that legend. It has been a long journey for Shepard and the team here at Bioware, and like Shepard, we couldn't have done it alone. The Mass Effect trilogy began as a vision of a small team, and over the years it has grown. That growth has been fueled and shaped by feedback and support from our player community. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and we look forward to sharing further adventures with you in the Mass Effect universe, the Mass Effect team. All right, and I'll actually close it out here rather than during the credits. This has been the Erased Loot Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.